I'm in the kitchen with Brian from Shirley J. And I said, we have two recipes, Brian. We have to get through this. And he goes, Shirley J has fast, fast recipe ideas. Always. We can do it. We can do it. What are we making? Absolutely. We're going to do two different kind of restaurant dishes is what mm -hmm. I was going off of. And we're going to use just our chicken bouillon on this. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do an egg drop soup. And that's something you usually always get at a restaurant. People don't make it at home. They just don't realize how easy it no, is I've to make. No, I've never dared to make it at home, but it's my favorite thing to order. Very, very easy to make. So okay. I'm going to show you. We've got, I've got my water boiling mm -hmm. already. I'm just going to put in the chicken bouillon. And by the way, this is in my spice cabinet right now. Good. So I'm going to be ready to use it after this. I use this on pretty much everything that I put salt for. So instead oh, really? of salt, I just substitute that. In there. Yeah, absolutely. So we're just going to put that in there in the water. Mm -hmm. I've got a little bit of slurry, which is uh, a, a cornstarch and water combined together. Okay. We're just going to put that in there just to kind of give it a, a thickened thick texture. It doesn't really add any flavoring like that. Because you're right, that egg drop soup isn't necessarily runny. No, no. and it's got that little kind of sheen to it. It does. We're going to put in a little bit of powdered ginger, uh -huh. and a little bit of white pepper. And the white pepper, if you don't have white pepper, Use black pepper, but you'll just see it is the difference right there. And then the big the big thing is is we're going to put in our, our egg. Now, I've just done the egg whites, and then what I do to kind of get that ribbon texture is mm -hmm. I, I go ahead and, and get it going around, and then I take a fork, and I'll just drizzle it through the fork, and you'll start getting those oh, look really at that. silky... I was wondering how ribbons. they did that. Okay, you put the fork under, and it's just the egg white. Just the drizzle egg Drizzle it in. And while it's kind of spinning around, that's what it does. Oh my gosh, Brian. So see, it gives you that. I don't know if you can. How cool is that? that? Yeah, I can see that. So then we're going to go ahead and finish off a little peas. Does the or, water need to be boiling, by the way, when uh, you do that? At that point, you can actually turn it off. Once the water's, once the water's heated, you can turn it off. You can and turn it off, and, and it actually kind of have that helps, helps okay. a little bit. So, and there we go. I just I put a little mushrooms, a little peas, or whatever we have in there. I can't believe how easy that was. Very, very easy on that one. Well, and kind of healthy and healthy good and for you, and yeah, absolutely. all the above. Okay, chicken piccata. So the second thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our our uh, chicken piccata mm -hmm. here. Now all I've done is I've taken my chicken breasts and I've just dunked them in a little bit of flour and I've seared them off in the oil and uh, butter combination. And I use the butter for the flavor and the oil kind of helps the butter not to burn when you're cooking. All right. It. So I just cooked the chicken breasts off. I'm using the exact same pan. If you want to go ahead and go ahead and dump in the, the actually let's start with the butter. Start with the butter. Okay. Put that in there. Put a little bit of the butter it's in there. It's still hot. Yeah. And then we're going to go ahead and just kind of get that up. The, the smaller you cut up your butter, the better because it's going to it's going to cook all out without burning one piece and, and while well, you're still waiting to, to brown the other. Good tip. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and throw in our lemon juice. And now throw right. it in carefully because water and oil don't always mix. Okay, so throw so, it in carefully. Yeah. There we go. So go ahead and whisk. Go. I'll whisk if you, you whisk, dump. You whisk away. I'll dump. So we just want to kind of scrape the, the bottom of that pan and get all those little pieces off there. That's the yummy part. And that's going to give you a little bit of flavor. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to dump but dump about half that water in there right okay. there. Just going to put in some water there. And that's going to kind of thin out the, the lemon taste. It's not going to be such a strong lemon taste. And that is it. We're just going to garnish with a little bit of the parsley. Are you kidding? Yeah, go that's ahead. it? Throw the parsley in there? Put the parsley in there. Yeah. Well, once you put the parsley in, it's going to cook. So make sure you, you get the, the parsley in there at the last. You save that for the very end. I save yeah. that for the okay. very end. And then I take uh, just whatever we have and we're just going to... Drizzle it on. That's drizzle it. Drizzle it on. That is it. So you uh, see, you are so right. These are both things I order at restaurants and don't dare to do at home. And I swear, if you had some capers too, that would be awesome to throw on there. Some you know what we did forget? What? Our chicken bouillon. Oh, okay. We do that, need that. That was the that flavoring, yeah. Yummy. So. Okay, put that in there. Stir it up. Put that in there. And now let's stir that up. Stir up and we'll do a, dub a double drizzle. A double drizzle. On our chicken. There we go. Why not? I knew we were missing something there. What about this lemon zest? So that just goes right on top. It's just for, for looks there. Okay. And put a little bit on there. Get it on there, and I will put this on. I got a fork there for you if you want to. Oh my gosh, look at that. It, it's like restaurant quality food. Right there. And that took, what, 30 seconds? Oh my gosh, that lemon smells so good. That is. If you need these recipes, go to it our website, so cw30.com slash daily dish. We'll put those, both of them, the egg drop soup and the chicken piccata, right there for you. But also, don't forget, you need the Shirley J products to make these. And where can people get those? Uh, you can get those at our storefront at 15 East, 400 South in Orem. Mm -hmm. Or you can just go online to shirleyj.com. Well, and are there recipes on shirleyj.com? 
thousands of recipes. So on you can you know how to use the products and you can yeah. put them together and look fancy at your house. And everything's really easy and really quick. Uh, we even have our Master 30 Meals program that these recipes have actually come from. And uh, it's just different uh, ways to put meals together. And Could you believe the egg drop soup no, in two and a half minutes? No, my kids order that. Like, yeah. we're at a Chinese restaurant. Now I can make it. No, you can do it. Go. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brian. All right. We'll be right back. Thank you.